Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary channel, which is the build 25921. This is the last build for this week in the Windows Insider program. We had a build for the beta, the dev, and also the Canary channels. I think this was a very nice week for the development of Windows 11. And I think the smallest build of all is the Canary channel build that we got yesterday. In this video, we're gonna talk about what is new, what has changed, and what is fixed in this latest build for the Canary channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is adding HDR background support and you can now set JXR files to be your desktop background and if you have an HDR display, they will render in full HDR. More info about this in the article below in the video's description. Also in the start menu, we have the same new thumbnail previews or tooltips for the recommended section files and also for the cloud files in the start menu and I think this is pretty useful. Also Microsoft is stating that currently there is a bug in which you cannot see a preview of the file. Basically the thumbnail only shows the photo icon but in the near future this will be fixed and we will soon see thumbnails for the photos or the files that we have in the start menu. Also in this build we can finally say goodbye to Cortana. If you search for Cortana inside the search box and right click on it you can now uninstall it using the official Windows Windows 11 uninstalling process and now as you can see we finally completely uninstalled Cortana and um, yeah basically this is the end for Cortana as Microsoft is starting to introduce the Windows Copilot AI assistant. Microsoft is also starting to implement the Microsoft Teams chat and when you update to this build if you have this rolled out you will be able to see that this will be automatically pinned to the taskbar but of course you can always uncheck it from the taskbar settings and you will no longer have it there. Also when switching between desktops and tasks view not only labels will be shown but also new sliding animations will also show when you change your desktops using trackpad gestures touch gestures hotkeys by clicking on the task view flyer regarding networking a new asynchronous error handling feature in the dhcp client service will allow for faster response time for some runs of ip config slash renew on the windows command line improvements will vary depending on the system and network conditions but ideal cases will improve from about four seconds to 0.1 seconds per run also as spotted by Phantom Motion 3 on Twitter, the dynamic lighting icon is also changed inside the settings app. And inside the file explorer, we're also getting the new share UI along with also when right clicking in the context menu, the new share button to use it to share files to nearby devices or contacts. And also as spotted by Sino Panther on Twitter, you will be getting notifications from some apps that are trying to pin themselves into the taskbar and you will be able to allow that or not. I think that is pretty interesting. We also have a known issue in this build. Basically, after updating to this build, devices with mobile broadband connectivity may not be able to connect to a wireless network due to a issue in which the APN configuration may get lost on upgrade. You can either add in the APN configuration manually as a workaround or hold off taking this build as Microsoft is expecting to fix this issue in the next flight. So basically this is all there is to it to the latest Canary channel build 25921. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.